All right, guys, we're going to continue learning Siach Sarf Yikodesh. Sunday videos are going to be just me reading through Siach Sarf Yikodesh, stuff from Rabbi Nachman, traditions in Brussels, of Brussels Messoira, stories, different things like that. Here is the Sefer. Last week we did the first 34 Simonim, Sifim, pieces, whatever you want to call them. Today we're going to continue with Sif Lamed Hay. This one's a little intense. Hikbid Rabbeinu. Rabbi Nachman was very machbid that any Jew should not build himself a new house in the Chosarts. A person should not build himself a house outside of the land of Israel. And this is a minig by Anash, minig in Breslov, that they do not build themselves new houses outside of Israel. Because a person always needs to hope for Mashiach. Therefore, it does not make any sense that you should build yourself a house in the Chutzarts. Because you gotta come to Eretz when Mashiach comes. One time, when Rav Avram ben Rav Nachman, Rav Avram bar Nachman, Zal, he saw Rabbi Yisrael bar Brinitzer, Zal, he was bringing uh, planks of wood, or stones or whatever it was, to build himself a house. He said, Echad Hoya Avram Bernu, there was once Avram Bernu, who was uh, who was the grandson of Rabbi Nachman. He said, he heard from my father, Rabbi Nachman, Tulchiner, the, the Tulchiner Rav, that we do not build a new apartment in Chutzarts. And when, and, when, and when Rabbi Yisrael heard this, he stopped building. Next piece, Lantam Edvav. Amu Rabbeinu Bilashan Sheila. Rabbi Nachman said in a, like in a questioning way. Ma tam yish bedavar shalav ben hanoi let mamtinim lenasina shmai shmai yavim ulebasle ulaisin. Rabbi Nachman one time asked, why do we wait eight days to give a boy who was born a name, but not to a girl? And he did not answer the question. One time. When they were speaking in front of Rabbi Nachman about the Indian of Shmur Matzah, and on the table in front of Rabbi Nachman was a piece of matzah that was not Shmura, Rabbi Nachman touched the matzah and he said, Matzah Shaina Shmura, Shmira Sabris, Zehu Matzah Shmura. The Iker of Matzah Shmura is to be Shemar Abris. Uh, Rabbi Nachman, Atzmai Hoy Noig Echo Rak Matzah Shmura. So he's basically saying Shmira Sabris is Matzah Shmura. Rabbi Nachman obviously was a Mahpit to only eat Matzah Shmura, but he was saying also that another Indian of Matzah Shmura is to be Shemar Abris. Okay. This one is a Gishmaka piece. I like this piece. Because I've seen it for also bought down from Nas and I've seen it bought down other places, but this one is a nice one. Piece 38, Chelek Beis and Seal Sarfi Kodesh. Rabbi Nachman said that the world says that someone who's already a Jew who's already eat, who's already eating pig, right? He should at least let the he should at least let the fat and the juices drip down onto his beard. You know, like if he's already doing this avera, then at least he should enjoy it. Or, but uh, but Rabbi Nachman says, but I say, at least he should at least he should not let it drip down onto his beard. Meaning, what is so? What is he saying over here? He's he's saying that the world says. That this person who's doing evil, he shouldn't try to fake it out and like, you know, that he's not enjoying the pig or whatever. That everybody should see that he's that he's not doing good. And he should let the juice drip down to the bed. Everyone should see that he ate pig. Everyone should see that he's enjoying it. But I say no. The Chol Apachos, at least he should be embarrassed of his uh, disgusting ways. And he should not reveal his waste to everybody. I mean, even if you're a bad person, you're doing bad things, you shouldn't tell everyone that you're doing bad things. The Yishayim Shekavanas had that what he's saying is that whatever a person could prevent himself from doing an Avera to make it worse at the time of the Avera, even a little bit, then this is also very good. Right? That, like, if you're doing an Avera, okay, so if you're eating pig, at least don't let the beer, like, at least you shouldn't dip it into ketchup. I don't know, do people eat pig with ketchup? I have no idea. I'm just saying, like, you should, you should, you should try not to enjoy the, 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 the sin so much. 
Okay. Next piece. Rabbi Nachman said. Uh, what is he saying over here? I have no idea what he's saying over here. From you yourselves, you're able to know the where the world is standing. Where you are standing in the world. I don't know what that means. Okay. One time, Rabbi Nachman said, he was speaking about the Shvach of Eretz Yisrael, and he said, Eretz Yisrael or Uman. That's all he said. Eretz Yisrael and Uman, they're both very good places. Rabbi Omar Al-Anash, Rabbi Nachman said on the Chesidim, he says that every one of you who is a chassid of mine, there is yesh tikva, there is hope that all of my all of my people will at least leave over uh, a family member, something that they will be remembered by. So I'm not sure if he's talking about a physical thing or a spiritual thing, but everybody's going to have something left over that they're going to be able to talk about you. Rabbi Nachman said, regarding somebody who died in his house, we don't need to be sad on those who are not with us, we need to be happy with those who are with us now, with those who remain. It's a little intense also. Amar, when a man is healthy, right, and he's strong, so all he needs to do is just keep on doing, and try and avoid to try to do as much as he can. But when he gets sick, he says, Nesiras as havoidus hakoshes that you need to do, like you should, try, like you should try to do um, everything when you're young. And when you get older, when you get sick, you should try to do just the pashit avoidus and not the hard avoidus. The lost of nesiras arbarzel is like a hard, uh, is like a hard avoidus. Maybe some achatzois or going to cold mikvahs and different things like that. Fasting, you know, and saying, you know, we're not going to really do that anymore. But the simple avoidus are always good to do, but even when you're older, because then you won't you won't have kayak to do the the um, the stronger, harder avoidance. Rabbi Nachman said, My men will eventually have the most covered, but also the most embarrassment. I don't know. They say over that one time when Rabbi Nachman was speaking about the greatness of his uncle, Rabbi Rav HaKadosh, Rabbi Baruch of Mezhbush, Omar, the Histakel Be'ardolov, Be'punch Be'pantopol, Shal Rabbi Baruch HaSegula L'Shmir HaSabris. I don't know what a Pantopol is, I don't know what a Be'ardolov is, maybe he's talking about his pants, his sleeves, socks, something like that. But Rabbi Nachman was saying that just, just just by looking at that area on his clothing or on his body, whatever it was, that is already a, a segula to be Shemar Bris. Very interesting. Rabbi Nachman says, because it was all, it's very interesting because there was a big uh, machlekes between them, but it doesn't mean that Rabbi Baruch wasn't great, but there was still a machlekes, very interesting. Anyway, Rabbi Nachman says that the world says that a tzaddik cannot do any sins, and if he does a sin, then he's not a tzaddik. But I say that a tzaddik could do something bad, he could do a sin, and if he does, and if he does this thing, he could still be a tzad. Tzadik could do an aver; he could fall too. Amar, paalti eitz al Hashem is barach. I worked it out with Hashem. Shevachol is sheidabru mimeni yeh lehem herachuva. And whenever you talk about me, you will have a thought of chuva, of thought of returning to God. So even it's very good to just talk about Rabbi Nachman because you'll be able to. Have a uh, thoughts of tshuva. Rabbi Nachman said also. He said that one, uh, once a person leaves the doors of my house, I already kind of give up on him. Klemer shuv any patuach I'm not sure what's going to happen with him when he's with him. Seder, you know, I can take care of him. But once he's off on his own, I'm st- I'm not, I'm very conf- I'm very unsure what's going to happen with this guy if he's going to fall to his bad ways again or not. He says, Rabbi Nachman said, wherever there is found a hero tshuva, it's taken from me. And the Chesidim used to say that this 
has a basis in the Torah Reish Pei Beis in, in Torah 282 in Lakutim Ran, which is about the Nekudas Torahs, that what's explained over there, Me'enin HaShiach Tzibar, HaMalaki Tessa Nekudas Torahs, the Shliach Tzibar, the guy who's dialing for, for the Amid and Shul, he gathers up all the good points from everybody inside the Shul, from everybody inside the Tzibar. And he brings him up to the level of the Kaf Schos to judge everyone favorably. That this is the Bechina of the Herat Shuva that comes to each person. Amar Pam. Oh, this is a good one. He says to be in Uman and in Sophia Lo. So what's Sophia? Hagan Sophia. There's a garden, and uh, it's actually not a garden, it's a park in Uman, very close to where everybody is on Rosh Hashanah. Uh, it's called the Sophia Park, and it's actually, I've been there a few times, it's actually one of the most beautiful parks in the world. It's humongous, it's like Central Park, even bigger, and it's just unbelievable the way that things are grown there, and it's very, very pretty. Uh, Rabbi Nachman would say, like if you're gonna to come to one and you and you're not gonna to go to this park too, so there's a minute by some people to go to this park also when you're there for Hashanah. Now they charge for the Jews even though it's supposed to be free, but you know how it is over there in Ukraine. Um, he says for the days of Sukkot, mm-hmm. says for the days of Sukkot the non-Jews would sell the lovim that they cut from there. There was a there was a, a school to learn the segulas from the plants to cures and everything like that. And these and this and he says over here that this is one of the three parks in the world that are the most beautiful parks. So it's very beautiful if you ever make it to Uman, you should go to this park. And I mean Akhlan said also they said he used to go do his this over there. Abinu Tafas one time Rabbi Nachman held the matzah on Pesach and he says when you hold the matzah, your mom is holding Holiness, Hashemness, in your hand, Elikus Biyad, inside your hand. Who is messaging me so early in the morning, man? Oh. Sorry. They say over that Rabbi Nachman said, Sheharav Ha'al Sheikh Shechiber Perish Al Torah, that he was Zaychet to Echod, that he was Zaychet to one of to be one of the Echod Shivim Panim in the Torah. That the Al Shuk's parish is one of the Shivan Panamal Tire. Which is crazy. Omar. If the if the if the Mifusame Hador would know what the non Jews were talking about in in Petroburg, maybe he's talking about St. Petersburg, Eich Ligzar Kizeris al Bene Israel, how they're making different Kizeris on the Bene Israel, they would not even fight about one thing of the Mistras Hamagidis who would be this Magid in this place, they would fight against just the Gezeras. So that means Rabbi Nachman was able to hear what they were talking about in St. Petersburg or Petersburg, wherever that is, about the Gezeras against the Jews. He knew what was going on. And he said that these guys are fighting over where, where they're going to tell their stories over on Shabbos and give over most on Shabbos. Really, they don't know what's going on in St. Petersburg. They should be worried about that. <clears throat> Omar. My, he says, Rabbi Nachman says that my Indian is a secret, is a secret. However, it's a secret that even, even, that even when I reveal this secret, it's still a secret. Okay. Omar, Betfilos Mairev Shabalel Shmini Atzeres, Be'ez Sho'ev Mesfilos Emes Ve'amuna, at the Tfilah of Mairev, on the night of Shmini Atzeres, when you say Emes Ve'amuna, I guess after Shema, Oz Michalkin Bishamayim Lichol Echad as Parnasosla Lichol Shamir. Rabbi Nachman says that when you're saying that Tfila on Shemin Hatzeras, that is when in Shemayim they are handing out your Parnasosla for, for the whole entire year. Alright, let's go another 10 minutes, why not? Omar, Alpha P in the future, Kishit Starchu Le De Eza Lacha Yitchu Vianu Berambam. Even though in the future, when you need to know a certain halacha, you're going to open up the Rambam and look up the halacha. Afa pikin b'sefer moyer nevuchim v'hachakira shechiber aser lehistaka. Rambam was very machbed 
and said that learning the Sefer Moin of Ucha from the Rambam was completely usher, and therefore Breslovers do not learn that Sefer. Some people don't even say the name of it. The Baal Shem Tov said, tea. People who are knowing to drink tea before davening, so that they can daven better. The Baal Shem Tov said, Toiv Yoyser Livchosh Ulevavos Atfila Veloy Livchosh Asa Tele for now. So it's better to mess up the davening <laughs> than to be I guess he's saying it's better not to drink tea before davening because he said it's better to have a bad feeling than to drink tea before davening. Rabbi Nachman said from all the from all the hard questions that I get from the whole world, I don't, it doesn't bother me at all. Shuv in Kashli Klaw. Rabbi Nachman said regarding the Machlaikis, Shechokim Alav, Umachshin Alav Kushus Harbe, that they would argue with him, they would ask him, all, and they would ask questions on him, why Uman Roshana, why this, all these different things, not Uman Roshana back then, Rasul Roshana, because that's where he was, but Uman is last year, or all these other types of questions, all these different avoidances he would give to, to the Chesidim. He says, Bishtika Achas, that I don't answer at all. I already answer all their questions. So the best thing is to be quiet. Chen Amar, he also said, I think he's saying about the people of the Machlok, that if they really wanted to hurt me, they would already, be, they would, like if I want them to, to for them to, to, like to bother me or to hurt me, then I would get hurt a lot, but I don't want it, so they don't. So it doesn't bother me at all. I think that's what he's saying. Rabbeinu Amar ala chayikim shacholkim alav. Also, again, on people who were chayik on Rabbeinu. This was intense. He says that if they leave me a little bit, a little derech on the tzad, so that I could still do. So then. Like, even though they're still being chaylik on him, but okay, so like they're being chaylik, but they still let Rabbi Nachman do what he needed to do, so then the chaylik is, the person who's arguing is going to be okay. What does that mean, okay? You'll see in a second. He says, but if the chaylik, if this person is, is like the person is going to close in front of me the whole way, somebody who's arguing is going to close me off the whole way from the world, so then they're going to take him from Shemayim. Ooh, tati, that's pretty intense. Anyway, Rabbeinu Omer, B'derech shvach al echad me'ha tzadikim shechalich alav, hu chaylik alai kitzadik. Rabbi Nachman said that he was chaylik on me like a tzadik is supposed to. Kishadir ar-pam Rabbeinu beginus haroif, Rabbi Nachman was not into doctors. He was speaking badly about doctors and their cures. Rabbi Nachman said that Hashem is so great that even through a doctor he could be raving. Amar Rabbeinu, Gam be'inyin shali yiyu mifursam shal shaker. Even in Brasov, there's going to be mifursam shal shaker. People that are going to be being being mifursam, but they're not going to be giving over Rabbi Nachman right. We need to be careful. Amar Allah Chaylik, Ani ain yachol lisno yisoy, ki hari mitzarif ani tzeruf mikol hamechlekes. He says, somebody who was arguing with him, somebody who was being chaylik on Rabbi Nachman, says, I'm, I can't hate this guy because I am making very holy things and tzirufim from all the different machlaikas, all the spiritual tzirufim and connections. But you, who shavar lechatichos? He can break you into Into pieces, or you break him into pieces. I don't know. Rabbi Nachman says, wherever one of my men goes, he's kaivish the whole entire city. Wherever a wrestler goes, the whole entire city knows who he is. He's kaivish the whole city. Omar, Rabbi Nachman says that Mashiach is going to capture the whole world. He's going to take over the whole world without even firing one shot from a gun. Look in the Kutim Ran, Sin Bigs. Rabbi Nachman talks about that more there. 
Hold on one second. I made a bracha beforehand, I promise you. Um, someone came to Rabbi Nachman with a rip in his begot because, because he was in mourning. Rabbi Nachman says, you're fasting? Do fast? And he was hinting to him, So that the Avilas came to him because he was being noig and fasting when he was not supposed to. Omar, he says, Somebody who was who who was not machmer to eat on Pesach uh, Shuria, right? He eats kebrachs, ain't tzarch lachmer. So yeah, brass of the minig is not eikabrox, but if you're at eikabrox, Rabbeinu says you don't need to be machmer. Amar tzarech adam lichsoif lemadrega hagavoy biyoser v'loy lipo me hamadrega haktana biyoser. Because a man always needs to yearn for the highest level and not to fall from the lowest level. You should always keep on trying to go up. Rabbeinu was not noyeg to give out shirayim from his food, like other people are, other rebbes are, but there were times that he would leave over a little shirayim, and uh, chassidim would take a little bit. One time, they asked Rabbi Nachman, why did the Baal Shem Tov consider his daughter Adol, um, Maras Adol, like why did he consider her so important? who is the grandmother of Rabbi Nachman. So Rabbi Nachman answered, because the whole entire day, Adul would go with Kisufim Hashem Nizbarach all day, and she would ask herself, Ma oidi choylani lasis dover shield the Ritzoyne Nizbarach. The whole day she would walk around saying, what else can I do for Hashem? She was, everything that she did was mamish, so that she was just so that it would be brought to Hashem. So that's why the Baal Shem Tov held her in such high Esteem. Amar Nachman says that it's hard to see uh, that the that Selim al Kim does not shine on a person's face before he finishes Shas. Okay. Rabbeinu Amar. This is a crazy piece. Rabbi Nachman says that when you look for him in the Oilam Emes, in the true world, in the upper worlds, you should know he's giving you directions right now. He's giving you driving directions, Rabbi Nachman. He's saying that his Heichel, where he is in Shemaim, is a cross from the Heichel of Rabbi Baruch. The Heichel Yimeshanes Givan of Becholis. And my Heichel is turning colors uh, all the time. <laughs> Say whatever Torah I'm saying, so then at that point, so then my Heichel turns a different color. So if you get to Shemayim, I'm saying this with 100% serious, by the way, um, look for the Heichel that's changing colors, and that's what Rabbi Nachman is. Abinu Amar, Masha Tzadikim Achirim Paralim Vavoy Zem Beroshana Ad Hashan Raba. Rabbi Nachman says that what other Tzadikim accomplish in their Avoyda from Hashanah until Hashan Raba, I do all of that just on the first night of Rosh Hashanah. Abinu Amar, Shuhu Ibed Es Gufoi Kaoid Nifchar Nikro Yicht Keor. Sorry. Rabbi Nachman said that he worked on his body just like so much, just like they work on this. Leather, it's called yicht, which was the name of a leather. Hamubat hetev ad shafilu yim shashu vi shashvuhu michol tzvadav loyar gishu by shum seirach and mereach or. So thick, so heavy, even if you squeeze it and mush it around, whatever, you would not, it wouldn't get bad at all, or 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 you wouldn't be able to smell it. It was very good or very good leather. Um, skin, whatever. He worked on his body so much, meaning that he worked on his body a lot. To break taivas and everything like that. That's what it means, obviously. Okay, I think we're going to go till 10 o'clock. It's 
This is Love Virginia Safer. There's nothing there's nothing like the safer in the world, man. It's just fire after fire after fire after fire. Pam Nas Rabbeinu Imar Nat, Rabbi Nachman one time was going on the way with Rab Nasan and Rabbi Yitzhak Leib. Rabbi Yitzhak Leib. Bem Tzana Siyah, middle of the way, Rabbi Nachman says, did anybody see anything? And Rabbi Yitzhak Leib said he saw, and this was a, 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 a dead person, I guess, coming to Rabbi Nachman for a ticken. When Rabbi Yitzhak Leib saw it, and Rabbi Nasan didn't see it, he had Chalisha's Hadas. He felt very bad. Right? So he said, so Rabbi Yitzhak Leib saw that Rabbi Nasan felt bad about this. He says, but what you see in the Torahs of Rabbeinu, I don't see that. Ubezer, Ratzel Lefai, says, as more not. He wanted to make him feel better. And Achar Kach, Rabbi Nachman said, to see a dead person is six times greater higher than prophecy. It's pretty intense, man. Rabbi Nachman one time sent Rabbi, Rabbi Nassim to gather money for Hachnas Kala. Right? Rabbi Nachman one time sent Rabbi Nassim to gather money for Hachnas Kala for Yisoymania, for an orphan girl who was poor. I think it says also that uh, uh, that Rabbi Nassim had another girl in his house, uh, that an orphan that, that uh, lived in his house too, and he took care of her, and he took care of her wedding and everything. Rabbeinu Shibach Pames Rav Ber Mitcheren Vamar Hu Mefachet Kol Kach Na Hashem Is Barach. Rabbeinu praised Rabbi Ber from Cherin. He said that he's so scared from Hashem. Kimoy Shesavim Oisoy Al Kenata Kolem Malkim Shemalachtem Bayol Shutonas Is Chayv Malchus. Ah, like he was so scared from Hashem all the time. It was just like they were putting him on the place where. You get whipped when you where you get Malchus from the government. That's how scary he was. He always felt like he was on there. Abenu Amar. On Shabbos night, on Friday night, there is in the world a great thirst for Hashem. One time, when Rabbi Nachman spoke about the Hishashkus, Bahavoyz Hashem is Baruch Amar, Shahuya Deya Mitzadik Echad, Shehivsik Lehishadish Bizik. Bizik Nusa. Rabbi Nachman said you always have to be mischadish every day. And he said that he knew of one tzaddik who stopped being mischadish when he got older. That's not good. Omar, Iker Milos Hatainis Hubisim. Rabbi Nachman says, ah, there's also an important piece. I've seen this many places. Rabbi Nachman says that the main part of a fast is the end, how you finish it. Not like a glutton. Rabbi Sainuzal. Agar Titanisa Tzidkasa. Gemar and Brachos. Rabbeinu Amar. Gam Hoyrov Shal Mashiach Lo Yiyu Ay Ay Ay. Kiloimar. Rabbi Nachman said that even the parents of Mashiach won't be like so, you know. They'll be regular people. Kiloimar Shlo Yiyu Davka B'nei Aliyah G'doylum B'mal. They won't be the best, you know, the, 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 the most special holy people in the world. Amar, I will finish my Indian with the Bali button up shooting Kemoy Shani Goimer in Maxidim. I'm going to finish my Indian the same way that I finished with the Bali button shooting. I'm also going to finish with the Chsidim. They're both important. All right, let's, one more page. We're running out of Koyach over here. Right, we have six more minutes. Let's go. Amar Abenu, Kisha Odom Hoylech, Bezer Hoylech, Medarga, Ladarga. When someone goes in this world from level to level, Be'enim Mavsik, Lizchadish, Lamshik, Ba'avayz Hashem, Ka'am Bo'yan Laboy, Yamshik, Lalas, Medarga. So he said, when someone who goes in this world from Darga to Darga, it doesn't stop and he keeps on going, he said, also in Oylem Haba, he's going to keep on going from Darga to Darga. Pam, Kishadima Rabbeinu, Medarche, Hashem, Han, Ne'alamim. Ah, this is an intense piece. Okay. So one time Rabbi Nachman was speaking about the ways of Hashem that are hidden, that we don't understand everything. That sometimes if something happens, She'ein shum seichel hadin, it flies darker Hashem. Siper. He told over a story. Shehoi Yehudi ani echad metupo be'iladin. There was a poor Jew uh, who would, what's it called? Who would uh, take care, he had a lot of kids. And he would rent every three years the base Hamarzeach Rendar, 
uh, parts. He rented uh, uh, something in the base of Marzeach. I'm not sure what a base of Marzeach is. From the parts. Every three years, he would sign a contract. He had it for three years. And he would live there and be mispired. He did this for a very long time. But, and every three years, and when the parts would announce, okay, the three years are up, even the non Jews knew not to go key because they knew that this guy wasn't, uh, was, a, was a very, very poor person and he had a lot of kids and they had a lot of Rahmanas in him and they knew that this was his parnas and everybody let him have this base parnasach. One year, a Jew came. Another Jew came and he offered a higher amount. He didn't have Rahmanas and this poor guy. And he rented this base Marzeach. And this other Jew, the poor Jew, had to go from there in the middle of Chayrev with his kids, Haktanim. And it was very sad. And this Jew who rented it now, he did not have kids for many years. And in that year that he rented this base from Azeach and took it away, the Parnassah from this other Jew, he had a Ben Zachar. Right? And this was a very wondrous thing. And not only did he do this Avla, this bad thing to this poor guy, after many years of not having kids, Rabbi Nachman says, and This is the way that Hashem runs the world. We don't know what was going on behind the scenes in that situation. That's what Rabbi Nachman is trying to say. We don't understand. It's, you know, that's how Hashem runs the world, and this is what we have to accept. Please, God, help us understand a little bit, though. All right. Palm, last one. Pay Zion. There are a lot of pieces today. Amar Pam, Hamisnagdim Oyrim, She Iker Hu Limana Taira, the Misnagdim say that the Iker is learning Taira, Vachsidim Oyrim, that the Iker is Tvila. And I say both. Lispawel, the Limoid, Lispawel. Davin, learn, and Davin. Davinin, un learnin, un Davinin. Vayin, Besich, Saran, Simon, Reish, Pezayin. Okay. We will continue learning more about Rabbi Nachman next week. Thank you all.